Hello everyone, happy Christmas. Um, oh, it's a bit cold. Ooh. Right, um, it's been a while, but I thought I'd bring you along uh, on this small job that I've got on the Honda CM. Um, I've bought some exhaust wraps just to stop the exhaust from rusting. Um, I bought this in February this year um, and it's just one of them things that I've just never got around to doing so we've got some uh, some wrap and some some metal toys there it's already pretty much dark here in the UK so I'm gonna get the bike inside the shed so we've got some light hopefully enough room and uh, get that sorted clean the exhaust first with some crown polish and then uh, wrap them with the, the new stuff. So uh, I'll get the bike inside, join me shortly. Freezing cold, put that on. Within a few minutes, it's too hot. Then a few minutes, it's freezing cold again. You can't, yeah, it's crap. Anyway, bike's inside. Um, it's in a bit of a sorry state, but it probably looks worse than it is. So sometime last year, I stripped it all down painted the frame, fork, wheels, pretty much everything. Um, apart from this panel, I don't know what's happened to that. And yeah, it just, it stood ever since. But I wanna get this cleaned up, get this wrap put on the exhaust, because these are brand new, these exhausts, and I've just left them. But um, this, this part of the exhaust I'm gonna leave in the, the black colour there that I've painted in heat resistant paint and just wrap the front part where it's common for it to rust on this bit here I'm just going to first spray some muck off let that set for a bit so yeah Give them a clean and then I'll just leave a, a small layer of uh, metal polish, chrome polish on there just to protect it and then obviously wrap. I've not wrapped exhaust before but how old can it be? It's actually not, I thought the bike would look a lot worse. Although it's been, it has been covered it's been in the garden and as you know, it's not the best for bikes. I haven't got any room in the shed to, to keep it. I can see all underneath, we've already got some surface rust. see there but 
that I'll need. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm going to have to clean up that surface rust. Just get some wire wool. I'm pretty sure it is just surface rust. Yeah. You see, brand new exhausts have been <laughs> probably just over a year old, but if you leave it in the garden, it's it's just gonna go rusty. Especially the chrome, it's not gonna be. I know it's very thick, many layers. It's just not like the old stuff. Okay. It has got most of it off, but it has pitted in some places, so unfortunately, that is my own fault. But in fairness, the exhausts was about 45 quid, so it's not the end of the world. But the originals was it was absolutely sand everywhere apart from these bits here. The one side was just completely blown open, and uh, you know that's where they're common for for going. Okay, let's just put some of this on. Put that on quite thick. Do this one side first. I'm not going to bother buffing it, I think I'm just going to leave it like that um, and obviously offer the best protection and then uh, we can start wrapping with our uh, exhaust wrap. Ooh. I don't know if I like the feel of that. I don't know if it's going through me or not. Ah, get a free nail. Awesome. Okay. Right. I'm going to leave that for a few minutes and uh, I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I've just done that bit in there. Uh, admittingly, it looks terrible. And now I'm going to start from the top. And when I come round to this part, I can sort of go over that bit again. So here goes nothing. I'm going to try and get right, right in there, up to that point. Okay. Let's just... did buy a, quite a decent roll so I know I should have definitely enough I'm just keeping it as tight as I possibly can I've noticed some of these fibres are Sticking in my hands. I maybe should have worn my gloves. <coughs> I 
I'm not too fussy about it being really neat. As long as it don't look ridiculous. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do, if I can. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I'm just twisting this clockwise just to tighten it all up. That seems to be doing a good job. Okay. I'm just gonna get one of these metal ties around this bit. Seems to be tightening up. that again with another one. What I'm gonna do is maybe go around like that. That's got it. <clears throat> okay. So we'll just cut this bit here. Right, there we go. Just cut these long bits here. What I can do then is just put another one next to it and that should hold it all. How many of these straps do I get? One, two, three, four, not many left. I think I'll save that one. Right, so I'm just going to do this bit here now, up to about there. And that should be this side done. I do need one round. Top it down right. Let's get one round here. Not overly impressed with these metal toys, to be honest. Okay, so we've got that one round there. All down there. And that one there. Obviously, I'll just go around this bit again, that edge there, just up to there. So I'll do that bit now and then I'll show you what it's like. Those metal, those metal zip ties are useless, so. To start with, I'm using a Ghibli clip just to hold at the starting point. There's fibres everywhere from this stuff. So just as a precaution, I'm wearing a mask. There's fibres everywhere. And my hands are so itchy from this stuff. It's it's horrible. I 
done the other side, but off because I've done it off camera because the way I was doing it, it didn't work. Those metal zip ties weren't holding it tight. So I found the key is a good uh, solid Jubilee clip just to hold it tight there and you can wrap it tight all the way around. You can see those fibres, can't you? Flickering. So I'll put the bike outside as well. Mm. I've admit I've not enjoyed this job. Just finish along that way and then I'll do that last bit. Right, all done. So, to be honest, that was a mission. It's all wrapped up underneath there. To be honest, that was in a right game. But the main thing is the front of the exhaust there, they're going to be protected now. I'm not too fussed about the actual look of it. I don't look too bad. So that'll be it from me, guys. Did think it was going to be a quick video just doing that exhaust wrap, but turned out to be a bit of a nightmare. I suppose that's what happens when you don't plan. You just go for it. Ended up having to undo the work and and start again with those Jubilee clips. Without them, I don't think I would have been able to have done it. But it's one job done. I feel really, really itchy everywhere. That stuff's horrible. I'm going to jump in the bath. Um, but yeah, there'll be some more videos on the bike coming soon. So uh, stay tuned. Um, until next time, goodbye. Sounds like we've got a 
car will be sure there. At least it runs. <laughs> 